Crackberry.com. Hi, this is James from Crackberry.com, and this is Flight Theory for BlackBerry 10 smartphones. Uh, as you can see here down at the bottom left hand side, there is a tutorial which is definitely worth uh, running through when you first uh, uh, launch the application. There are some settings there as well, so we can tweak the sound, music, and uh, we can switch from miles an hour to kilometers per hour, etc. There's also uh, the tilt sensitivity there. But if we move back, or if we try and move back, <laughs> some of these buttons can be a bit, a bit temperamental sometimes. Okay, so we choose our aircraft. Um, I think I'll have. Um, yeah, I'll have. I'll stick with that the first one. Um, you do need to un unlock them, and then it's a case of uh, choosing the mission that you want to do. And again, this is where these buttons can be temperamental, but once we get into the game, you'll see that it's pretty awesome. Okay, here we go. So, um, so to start with, you'll obviously only have one mission that's unlocked, and then you need to unlock the uh, the others. Um, I've done quite a few, um, but let's give you, as an example, a carrier landing. So, I've got a feeling that just switched from a different one to the carrier landing. Anyway, we'll play it and see what happens. Okay, so here we have our plane. Uh, we can switch the camera view. I prefer this one. Uh, on the left-hand side, we've got our throttle controls up and down. And on the right-hand side, we've got our flaps. There's also a rudder control uh, uh, down at the bottom right-hand side as well. And it's really a case of using the, uh, the tilt controls to fly your plane. Now, you... You will get a little uh, grey icon on the screen that sh um, shows you the direction that you need to go, and uh, this probably isn't going to work very well on f these tilt controls. Probably aren't going to work very well on uh, on video because I'm not going to be able to go like that. <laughs> but the uh, you'll have to hold on. Let me just see. Go down a bit lower. Bear with me. Okay. So hopefully now you can see that the graphics are uh, are really nice. It's uh, it's nice and smooth and because this isn't coming across too great on video I'm not actually going to be able to perform, perform the carrier landing but um, if I was I'd head over to the carrier I would reduce my airspeed switch on the flaps and uh, land and that completes the mission but uh, You'll have to trust me when I say that this one's uh, pretty sweet. I don't know if you can see on the screen now, I think this did actually change from the carrier landing. There's a little, uh, little grey icon, that's what I'm heading towards. Uh, anyway. I'm really loving this game, it's uh, pretty addictive, nice and smooth. As I said, to, to start with, some of the buttons within the menu are a bit temperamental, but uh, um, as you can see, once you get up and running and the, the game's playing, it's absolutely beautiful and lovely and smooth. So uh, that's just a quick look at the game. Uh, if you want to check it out, you know where to get it. Catch you later.